nice. Navia is finally here and I'm excited. It is day one of her being out and I'm going to have the best Navia of today. It might not be the best tomorrow, but damn sure it will be today. So obviously the first step, we're gonna have to level her up. What the fuck? Wait, they changed the, they changed the thing. Okay, yeah, sure. Auto add. Oh, wait, that's sick. Okay. Wait, they changed the animations. What's going on? What the? Let's just keep going. We got to get her to uh, level level 80. All right, level 40, level 50, level 60, level 70, level 80. Dude, this is sick. I love this new auto add thing. Oh my God, we're short. Wait, I can get it. I can get it. I promise. I'll do anything for my sweet and precious Navia. Okay, we, we need six of the large chunks. Craft six. And then we also need six of, of these. We don't have that many. Okay, wait, six... Boom. And then I need to farm like uh, 42 more of her ascension things and we're done. I'll be back. All right. Level 90. Do I want to level her up fully? How much is that? 171. Should we do it? Man, fuck it. Why not? Why not? Any look. Oh my God. She look, dude, she's cool and she knows it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Let's get our wishes. Uh, we might actually have a 10 wish. I might as well do it if we, if we have one. Uh, okay. Yeah, sure. Oh, yo, Mona, Mona. I don't have, this is so unrelated. I don't have Mona, please. <laughs> okay, so we already have Navia level 90 of 90, which is good. For talents, I think we can go to level eight for everything, I, I think. Boom, boom. Uh, what? No, I can only craft 16. All right, Sucrose, you need to come and clutch like five times, please. Okay, two. Wait, can we buy them from the store? I need some. Uh, listen, I don't care. Surely we can buy them, right? Oh, yes. That gives us 70. Yeah, do it. All right, before we were rudely interrupted, let's continue. Uh, level six, four, five, six, four, five, six. I don't know which one her most important one is. I think it's her skill. So we are fucked. Okay, <laughs> we, can, we can craft 12. Sucrose, I swear to God. I swear to God. Sucrose, please. Please. All right, you know what? You know what? I'll be right back. I'm gonna go farm a little bit more. Genshin, why are you forcing me to kill these cute motherfuckers? Please, I don't want to do it. Did I just save him? I ain't even get a thank you, bro. That's crazy. Oh, wait. Oh, my bad, bro. I doubted you. I'm sorry. Okay, I just went out and farmed for like 10 minutes and uh, let's see how much we got. All right, so we can craft 20 more green and 14 blue. This should be enough for me to get everything I want, hopefully. So I think the skill is the one I prioritize. So let's get this one up to level eight and then we'll go. I think it's then normal attack. So we'll do level eight and I think we're out of boss materials, so we can only... Oh, wait. No, I can probably convert it. Wait, hold on, hold on. Okay, and Navia is now level 90 with all talents at level 8. Beautiful. I love it. So now I gotta figure out, A, what the hell she does, B, what artifacts she needs, C, what weapon she needs, and that's that's it. Actually, let's go talents first so I know what she scales off of. Normal attack. I'm guessing there's nothing cool to it. Okay, it's just a normal attack. Yep. Uh, That's a lot of text. But before we get into that, this video is sponsored by War Thunder. War Thunder is the most comprehensive vehicle combat game ever made where you can play with over 2,000 different vehicles such as planes, tanks, and helicopters in dynamic PvP battles. You can also customize your historical war machines with thousands of anime-related skins made by the community, or you can even create your own. War Thunder has one of the most detailed vehicle damage models in gaming. There's no general hit points, vehicles suffer actual damage to their components and crew instead, and a damage x-ray shows exactly what happens to you or any enemy vehicle as it gets damaged or destroyed. This game has incredible graphics and detail, especially in 4K resolution. They've got authentic sound effects, and the music is great as well. And if you want, you can even get anime-styled voice packs for your tanks. One of my favorite things about this game is the sheer amount of vehicles that we can choose from, and the fact that I can customize them with anime theme skins, I mean, that's pretty cool. So join me today and play War Thunder now for free on PC, PlayStation, or even Xbox using my link in the description. New players across all platforms and those that haven't played for at least six months can claim the body pillow pack using my link, which includes premium vehicles and your new favorite Dokimakura, among other bonuses, and is available for a limited time only. If you're an active player, you can still claim the Dakimakuras 
using my link. Once again, thank you to War Thunder for sponsoring this video. When a character in the party obtains an elemental shard created from the crystallized reaction, Navia will gain one crystal shrapnel stack. Navia can have up to six stacks of crystal shrapnel at once. Okay, that's cool. Each time crystal shrapnel gain is triggered, the duration of the shrapnel stacks you already have will be reset. When she fires, Navia will consume all shrapnel stacks and open her elegant yet lethal gunbrella. Wait, what the fuck? It's called a gunbrella? Firing multiple Rosula shard shots that can penetrate opponents, dealing geo damage to opponents hit. When 0, 1, 2, 3 or more stacks of shrapnel are consumed, 5, 7, 9, 11 Rosula shard shots will be fired respectively. Oh, okay, okay, that makes sense. The more Rosula shard shots that strike a single opponent, the greater the damage dealt to them. When all 11 Rosula shard shots strike, 200% of the original amount of damage is dealt. That is crazy. In addition, when more than three stacks of shrapnel are consumed, every stack consumed beyond those three will increase the damage dealt by this gunbrella attack by an additional 15%. And you can also enter aiming mode. Okay. Continually collecting nearby elemental shards created by crystallized reactions. That's good. Two initial charges. That's beautiful. Okay. What about the damage multi? Holy shit. 631%. That's the base damage. Bro, what? They said I do an extra 200%. 200% of the original damage. 1260%. Jesus Christ. What the? F and then for her burst, she unleashes a massive cannon bombardment on opponents in front of her dealing AOE geo damage and providing cannon fire support for a duration afterwards, periodically dealing geo damage to nearby opponents. When cannon attacks hit opponents, Navia will gain one stack of crystal. Oh, that's great. So every time a cannon attack hits, we gain one stack of shrapnel. That's, that's really good. Oh no, this effect can only be triggered up to once every 2.4 seconds. No, that's so sad. Okay, that's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, skill damage 120%. Cannon fire support damage 69%. Haha, <laughs> funny number 69. Duration 12 seconds. Cooldown 15 seconds. And then the energy cost is actually not bad 60. And her passive talents. For four seconds after using ceremonial crystal shot, which is her E skill, the damage dealt by Navia's normal attacks, charge attacks, and plunging attacks will be converted into geo damage. That's that's beautiful, which cannot be overridden by other elemental infusions. And the damage dealt by Navia's normal charge and plunging attacks will be increased by 40%. That's that's great. Also, you know what this tells me? Is that every character from now on is probably not going to be able to be overridden. So any character that has like a, a weapon uh, infusion will not be able to be overridden. So like, dude, this is honestly making me want to see six Bennett, but I don't know if I should do it. That's a, that's a whole different story for another video, whatever. All right, her second passive talent. For each pyro, electro, cryo, hydro party member, Navia gains 20% increased attack. Okay, that's a free 20%. And it can stack up to two times. So that's a free 40%. Holy shit. And then the last one gains 25% more rewards when dispatched on a yeah no one cares no no one cares i'm sorry i'm sorry what the f okay, okay i'm sorry i'm sorry i didn't want to read constellations because like it's it's a lot of them but her c6 is crazy if more than three stacks of crystal shrapnel are consumed when using ceremonial crystal shot which is her elemental skill each stack consumed beyond the first three increases the crit damage of that crystal shot by 45 percent and any stacks consumed beyond the first three are returned to navia dude that is insane you can gain a total of a 135 <laughs> crit damage what the what in the world okay okay all right so for navia's weapon i have no i actually i do have a, a slight idea since she scales off attack the unforged could be a good option generally i think i would probably want to run her in a geo team probably with zhongli so the passive also works increased shield strength by 20 percent also while protected by a shield this attack increase effect is increased by 100 percent so it could work especially if i use zhongli i mean i could do skyward pride probably not the best option Option, but if I need some ER, sure, probably not. This actually might work. What is this? Increases elemental burst damage. Not the greatest, but it works. It has attack percent as a as a substat. Serpent spine probably is pretty good. I would assume. Every four seconds a character is on the field, they will deal six percent more damage. Oh yeah, no serpent spine is actually probably one of the better ones. Serpent spine it is. Artifacts. Do I want to farm the new ones? But first, before I do that, we're gonna try out a two piece gladiator and a two-piece archaic petra if i have archaic petra i don't know if i do i'm really hoping i oh what is this dude they've changed so much you can also filter two of them at a time and not just one okay we have one archaic petra that is sad crit damage i mean this could kind of work you know what you know what we can probably strong box so let's do that there's no way i'm in 2023 i am strong boxing archaic petra but here we are hydro damage physical okay maybe 
Okay, maybe? No? Uh, crit rate. I don't know if we need crit rate. Since we're using the Serpent Spine, I don't think we need it. Oh, that's pretty good. Okay, you know what? We'll save this just in case. No. No. Elemental Mastery. I don't know why I'm saving it. Okay, At attack percent. Maybe. Maybe. Okay, there's nothing. We'll do like one or two more, and then I'm done. I, I don't want to dump all these on Archaic Petra. Let's be honest. Cryo Damage. Why is that unironically good? HP. No. No. Negative. No thanks. Attack percent. Okay. We're working with something. Nope, nope. Attack. HP. Defense. We're doing one more. They keep giving me two cups every time, and it's kind of annoying me. Okay. I mean, not the best. Defense, defense. But it, it is double crit, so you can't really complain. Healing, defense. Did I check this one? Yeah. Attack. No, no, no. And sadly, I mean... Honestly, if I need to eat, I'm probably not. Listen, all I need is like one piece. All right, so we got one flower that could be usable. Enhance to next tier. Oh, 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 that's sick. Wait, how many? Oh my God, they, they increase the slots to 15. Enhance the next tier. And we got defense. <laughs> God damn it, no. All right, all right, we got a couple options here. Enhance the next tier. God damn it. All right, what about this? Fuck you. All right, this one is double crit, so it's guaranteed to be somewhat decent. Let's go ahead and dump some of these. So boom, boom, boom. You know what? You know what? Let's go big. Fuck it. Let's go big. Do it all. Do it all. What do we get? 5.8. And Oh, okay. No, I got defense twice. That's so sad. Come on. Okay, crit damage. Okay, we'll take it. We'll take it. That's pretty good. That's solid. It's solid for now. Unless, unless this one rolls crit, then we might have to... Oh my god. Why would you do this to me? I mean, I'm happy, but like... Oh, crit, crit damage? Okay. Please. Fucking defense. Please. Crit damage? Okay, 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 okay. No! So, for the circlet, we have this one not very good for the feather we have this one could be better okay and then now we just need a two-piece gladiator or a two-piece uh shimanawa or a two-piece attack percent it literally could be anything so i'm gonna filter between shimanawa gladiator do i have any of the like the shao pieces what are they what are they called vermilion and echoes okay and then i want to sort by crit rate and then crit oh you can add the third stat too crit rate crit damage and energy recharge 10 14 with 15 percent recharge holy sh okay we need to maximize my crit rate so we're taking this one 10 percent crit rate 14 crit damage 15 er you know what it's gonna be hard to pass up on 17 percent crit rate i think we have to we have to do that we sort geo damage crit rate crit damage yo this is perfect 10 percent crit rate or i should say nine some er some crit damage beautiful beautiful okay okay our navia is built let's see the final stats of my navia we're looking at almost 20k hp 1700 attack uh 85 over 210 holy crap with 134 recharge jeez dude that looks amazing dude, my day one navia is the best i don't care what anybody says my day one navia is better than yours and there's nothing you can tell me so for the team that i'll be using i've been seeing a lot of bennett shangling i know who would have thought right so original and then zhongli so i think the rotation is going to be navia and then we go to zhongli Lee. Then we go to Bennett, then we go to Shangling, and we go back to Navia. Okay, okay, that's good. So we're gonna try these out on some commissions just to see what she does. Uh, I have yet to play with her. I have yet to do anything, so I have no idea. I mean, I, I have an idea of how she works, but haven't actually tested it. First of all, I want to see the cooldown. The cooldown of her elemental skill. Let's just let's just look at it. So we just uh, we we aim a shotgun. It is nine seconds. We did 36k unbuffed with no stacks of anything. Holy shit! What? 45k why is my navia so strong holy crap dude what she's unbuffed unbuffed no stacks actually she oh my god wait how do i check how many stacks she has wait what if i 65k you know what let's do let's test it on the mechanical array i'm not sure how much geo uh res that they have but let's just try it oh yeah that's right we need to do crystallize okay okay so we need to do crystallize and we need to pick them up to get the uh the stacks okay i think we do this and then we do this. And then we Zhongli shield. Bennett burst. Shangling burst. Skill. And then we go back. And boom. 193. What the? F we did 200k. We literally just did 200k. I don't know how many stacks I have. Ha oh, is it these? Boom. 
Dude, I love her! Oh my god, she's sick! Okay, bet it. I need I need my stuff back. I need my stuff. Hurry up, bet it, bet it, please! Boom. Uh, it's fine. We don't even need it. We don't even need it. Fuck! Uh, we didn't crit. We didn't crit. We still did 74k. Holy shit. What am I looking at? Navia, you fucking freak. Wait, why'd I do that? I don't even... What the... I don't need that. What in the world? Dude, that's not even... We don't... Okay, we don't even have her best in slot artifacts. I actually don't even know what her artifacts uh, are. Let me let me see what it is. Let me just quickly read what it does and how much better it is than what I have. All right, so you get 18% attack, which is good. And then after using an elemental skill, gain a 20% geo damage bonus for 10 seconds. That's fucking great. While under a shield granted by the crystallized reaction, the above effect will be increased by 150%, which means another 30% geo damage. And this additional increase disappears one second after that shield is lost. So you get 50% Geo damage bonus. What? What are you talking about? Dude, let's try it on Raiden. All right, so what if I like... Boom. Ow. Boom. Boom. And then... Let me get all the, the shards. 106. <laughs> oh my god. 84. Okay, okay. Oh, wait. I forgot the infusion. Wait, I forgot she infuses herself with Geo. Oh, we have to test that out too. All right, we're gonna wait until she, uh, she gets in her little vulnerable state. I'll be back. Oh, wait. Let's do this first. Boom. Boom. I need Zhongli's shield next to me. Okay. And then... Bop! 237! Holy shit! Dude, what the... We just did like 400k in like three seconds. Oh my god. All right, listen. We had our fun with this team. I want to try to find another team for her. You know what? We're keeping Zhongli, but we're going to put Fischl and Xing Cho in this team. And uh, I think we'll test this. Also, I do want to test one more team. And I think I want to try a normal attack Navia team <laughs> where, where we put Bennett and Yunjin in the same squad. <laughs> and we see how much damage we can squeeze out of her normal attacks. I, I feel like that'd be pretty fun all right we're gonna go into the abyss with this team we're just gonna try it out a little bit dude navia is at the top of my list <laughs> that is she's one of five characters that i've level 90 that is actually crazy oh my god <laughs> umbrella warfare i guess attack i kind of want to see the infusion hold on <clears throat> 16 15 oh my god dude she's like She's like damn near as good as my Ito, who specializes in literally auto attacks. That's crazy. My Ito does like 25, 30k. I don't know how much he does unbuffed, but I think buffed he does like 32 or something. I don't know. Dude, I love her. I love her. I love her. Ah, <laughs> uh, this is unfair. It's not even the fact that like she hits hard. It's the fact that she's fun and she also hits hard. It's not like I'm forced to use her just because she does so much goddamn damage, but she does. Don't get me wrong, but holy shit, she's fun to use, bro. Look at her. Okay. Oh, oh, this test is going to be great. Can I group them? Please, please group together. Okay. Boom. Boom. Ching Cho. And then Navia. And then one more Navia. <laughs> Dude. Dude. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh yes. And we're gonna uh we're gonna three star it too. Let's go. I did say I wanna try one more team, and that is the Yunjin team with Bennett. So I think the team will probably be I think it'll be the same team. Zhongli Navia with Bennett and then Yunjin. Now, first we gotta make sure if Yunjin is built, she is not built. Okay. We're back at the mechanical array, dude. He's just easy to fight. He's a big target. You know what I mean? Do this. This, Zhang Li, Bennett, boom, boom. Okay, come on. Come on. 20, 28, 26? Oh, 37? Wait, are those real? Oh my God, what? God damn. Okay, we're trying this. We're, we're trying this one more time because I don't believe that we just did like 30 goddamn 7,000 on a normal attack on a character that's not even meant to normal attack. Like that's not even like her main kit. I don't know if we even need to do that, but it's fine. Pop. 26, 14, 38. I don't know if that was, I think that's her normal attack. 38,000. That is ridiculous, dude. Completely 1,000% unbiased opinion. Do I think you should pull for Navia? She's not game-breaking. Like, she's not, oh my fucking god, you need her on your account. But god 
damn is she fun. She is extremely fun and extremely strong. And that is like the best of both worlds. Usually you have to sacrifice a little bit of damage for characters that are fun. And usually you have to sacrifice some fun for characters that do a lot of damage. She seems like she does both. <laughs> now it is early. So take my opinion with a grain of salt and don't let me influence you too much. But I love her and I already don't regret pulling for her. This is uh, yeah, she's great. I might make another video of me farming the new set and seeing how much more damage we can squeeze out of her. We do have some fragile resin that I can use and I do want this new set. If you guys want to see it, let me know. But uh, yeah, I think that's going to do it for this video. That's wow. Look at this fucking bundle of joy. I love her. Whee! Yo, she puts her sunglasses on. Wait, what? Wait, wait, she puts, yo, she puts them on. Dude, she's so cool. Come on. Oh, come on, stop. Just a reminder to use my link to play War Thunder for free now on any platform. And remember, if you're a new player or if you haven't played for six months, you can claim the body pillow pack using my link. And if you're an active player, you could still use the link and claim the Doki Makoros on any platform. And once again, thank you to War Thunder for sponsoring this video. All right, leave a like, subscribe to the channel. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.